Hi guys, let's start with the evolution of Linux and popular operating systems uh, regarding the Linux operating system, right? So in this video, we will actually cover the objectives. What is Linux? What is the open source concept? Why would you, let's say, want to work with Linux and what different Linux distributions there are right so and then let's start with the introduction based upon the operating systems that is for free let's say when we talk about the free operating systems right it doesn't only means that it is free to download it is something that gives you the freedom to do anything with it let's say um if i'm telling you that Linux is free and it is a free operating system. So if I'm telling you that uh, it is a free operating system, that means there are two things that, sh that, you that you should be aware of free, right? If it's saying that the operating system is free, that means either the operating system is available to download for free, right? And another thing, is you're getting the operating system and you have the right, right? You have the right to change, right? To change or maybe let's say to modify this operating system, right? So if I'm going to give you an operating system and let's say that uh, I have created this operating system, right? If I'm doing something, let's say, okay, take this operating system, right? to you. That means uh, you can install that operating system in your system, right? And um, what if uh, you don't like and then you wanted to add or modify, you wanted to actually do a lot of changes on that operating system, that is the right, right? Freedom to do anything with it as well. So um, this is the open source software, which is always free when it comes to your rights, right? So that means uh, you can you can uh, you can get the source code and you can modify it. You can do whatever you wanted to actually um, do within that the operating system, right? So let's say if I'm talking about the open source, right? Open source, right? So um, it's not about the money, right? It's not about the money that you're going to buy uh, buy for. Uh, but the open source actually means that uh, it's all about the rights. It's all about the rights that uh, that you're getting, right? To actually modify or to change that operating system. So that's that's the thing when it comes to the open source. It is a free operating system. That means uh, you're not only going to get the operating system for free, but uh, you can have the rights. You have... Um, you have uh, the rights and then um, you can just modify that operating system on your way that you want it, uh, that operating system to, uh, to be like, right? And um, let's say, uh, for example, um, I'm going to talk um, about the Red Hat versus CentOS. Just for an example, uh, what is Red Hat and what is CentOS? So uh, this Red Hat, right? If I'm talking about the Red Hat, Right. So if I'm talking about the Red Hat, it's the company that creates a commercial Linux distribution that sell for money. Right. However, because they are using open source products. So let's say they actually um, got the Linux code. Right. They actually got the Linux code. And uh, what they did was uh, when they actually got the Linux code, that means they actually modified it. They modified it and they modify it, uh, uh, the Linux code with a, their code, and then they made their own operating system from that Linux code, which is the Red Hat. So open source is just like you're getting the um, source code information as well. You have to share it, right? What you have did, what you have changed on that operating system, uh, it, it should be available uh, publicly, right? So that's it. that's that's the main um, meaning of the open source. So let's say Red Hat, the uh, the company that creates the commercial Linux distribution, and they sell this operating system, right? They sell this operating system. 
However, because they are um, using the open source products in their distribution, they have to release of, uh, all the source code as well for free. That means uh, if they are creating this Red Hat, that means uh, it's uh, it, it, it has been modified from the um, open source, right? Open source. So that means um, when it comes to Red Hat and then uh, when they actually modified it uh, to the Red Hat, they have to actually uh, let's say uh, this this is the open source that means they have to share or or um, they have to release all those codes right all those source codes all those source codes for free because it's an open source that means you are creating your own operating system you are selling it and you also have to share the source code uh, publicly right that that's the that's the beauty of uh, the open source codes right so as we have the right to see all the source code uh, uh, as they are using if they are using open source software which they are going to use the open source and then they can change um, the uh, operating system on their own they can modify it with the uh, given source code and it has to be publicly available that means uh, if I'm buying the Red Hat operating system, that's the operating system, right? If I'm buying the Red Hat operating system, that means I'm going to install it on my computer, right? If I'm going to install it on my computer, that's okay, totally fine, right? I bought it and then I installed it on my computer. And then what I did was uh, I'm, also, I'm also getting the free source code, how the Red Hat um, company uh, created that what kind of codes they have used that is that is um a, a publicly available and i can modify it that that's the beautiness of the open source right because they don't have uh, the rights to actually keep that source code uh, with them right they have to actually let's say release the source code publicly as well now on the other hand uh, on the other hand there is sent operating system sent os Right. So uh, the sent OS is also known as community enterprise uh, operating system. Right. So community uh, enterprise uh, operating system um, comes to the play um, after the Red Hat. That means um, Red Hat sells the product. Right. And they release all their source code so people can see it freely. So the people, the people, um, the people uh, of the sent OS takes all that Red Hat source code. Right takes all that Red Hat source code, right? And um, uh, they recompile it, right? So they recompile it um, into the sent OS, right? Which is a complete operating system that functions almost identical to Red Hat, but it doesn't have the company support and you don't play for it pay for it. So that means what are you paying for? Why are you paying uh, for the Red Hat operating system? Because, because they are actually providing you the support. That means if you're stuck, uh, if, uh, if you don't know well, what to do or how to install the packages, or maybe you are facing some kind of issues, that means Red Hat uh, provides the support. So they are actually uh, selling, the, uh, uh, selling the support right? Not the operating system because operating system is for free, right? You can download it. Uh, you can just uh, use the sent OS. It's just like a identical, um, identical, everything, everything, the commands, the packages that you're going to install, the software that you're going to install is everything works the uh, same as Red Hat. The only thing is that the uh, sent OS is free to download and, uh, um, oh, and on the other, uh, on the other hand, that means um, you, you don't get support. Why? Because they are not selling the Ascent OS operating system, the, uh, the community enterprise people, right? They are creating the Ascent OS. They have actually used the source code of Red Hat. They created their own operating system, such uh, known as Ascent OS. But the thing is that it's for free. You can use it just like the Red Hat operating system, but you're not going to get the support. Over here, Red Hat actually is actually selling their product that means um normally the um normally the operating system is for free right 
it's the open source. But the thing is that they're selling the support. If you're facing some kind of issues on, on the operating system installing or maybe have having some kind of issues. So that means the Red Hat community is going to support you that how to install, how to uh, get rid of, of, let's say, issue that you're going to face. Those are the things. So um, the CentOS people release it for free as you don't have to pay for it. That's the beautiness of, um, let's say, the open source. And on the other hand, a Red Hat um, versus CentOS, the, uh, the, uh, the community enterprise um, people actually create the operating system uh, from the Red Hat source code and they recompile it. They create their own operating system, sent OS. It's just the identical. It looks like the identical. It, it actually uh, uh, it actually works like a Red Hat Linux, right? The only thing is that uh, you don't get support if you're actually facing some, some kind of issue. That's, that's the thing over here. So yes, and then uh, let's say um, uh, we're going to discuss about the Linux distribution now. Now, let's say... Um, we have got this, uh, different uh, Linux distributions, right? And uh, uh, firstly, it's the Debian Linux, right? So um, it is a Linux distribution. That means it is a it is an operating system, uh, Linux operating system that has one core Linux kernel, right? But it has a little bit different way of installing packages. Uh, packages in Linux world means uh, like installing softwares, right? So Firefox. Apache web servers and all the programs that run on top of Linux, Debian has its own specific way of doing that. So this is one kind of Linux um, that you can install in your computer, right? And uh, on the other hand, here comes the open SUSE. So it usually a, uh, a completely different way of installing packages and uh, it actually looks different when you log in, right? The graphical user interface will look different than Debian. So this is another kind of Linux that you can install in your computer. Underneath, they are all still running Linux, but they just have a slightly different recipe that um, maybe this OpenSUSE open people are uh, actually using the Linux source code, right? But the thing is that they actually changed how to install the packages. They um, they changed a lot of things, right? How to install uh, the graphical looks are different. The command line looks different, right? Um, maybe the commands are also different based upon um, uh, um, uh, just uh, difference between the Debian and the open source, right? And um, uh, let's say uh, we also discussed about the Red Hat, right? So Red Hat uh, is the company that actually commercially um, uh, sells the product, the Linux product, right? And just like the CentOS, right? CentOS people um, actually takes the source code from Red Hat Linux, and then they create the old operating system. You can install CentOS, we can install Red Hat, but the thing is that uh, if we are actually installing Red Hat, that means it has to be actually, let's say you have to pay for that operating system just to get the support. But in CentOS, you you don't have to pay for that operating system uh, and you're not going to get support, right? But it ju it's just the identical of uh, Red Hat. It, it works like Red Hat, right? That's the be uh, beauty beautiness of uh, CentOS people that uh, they are uh, creating the same uh, uh, the same operating system as the Red Hat um, operating system, right? So uh, the Red Hat people creates an operating system and sell them. But since they have to give us the source code um, because they they have used the open source ingredients, right? So uh, the people of CentOS created the OS with the same source code and made the OS free publicly. And uh, lastly. Um, there is Ubuntu, right? This is uh, the popular operating system nowadays. Um, Pre-installed comes uh, uh, pre-installed in some kind of uh, some laptops, right? So it is a Linux distribution that uh, took a lot of um, base of Debian. That means it, it it actually the source code was taken from Debian Linux, right? And the way that Debian installs with different programs, the way that uh, Debian feels right the way the, that Debian handles the files and where the files are stored, where configurations are stored, everything are uh, j just the same as Debian um, when it comes to Ubuntu operating system. 
So Ubuntu took uh, that uh, uh, that Debian as a base and then added to it. Ubuntu completely uh, is free and you don't have to pay for it. So uh, Ubuntu is an adaptation um, of uh, Debian Linux that is not only that you can download the source code for free, but you can also download the installed version uh, for free. So Ubuntu is a free um, is a free to download operating system and we have a freedom to modify, change the functions and features of the operating systems. So these are some different um, Linux distributions um, that we have gone through it. And um, um, based upon uh, the Linux that are embedded on the devices, right? So because of this system, the open source concept is so powerful and gives people so much flexibility and uh, gives people the building blocks to build something awesome, right? So it is, uh, it's becoming so popular and Linux is embedded into tons and tons of devices, such as Android phones, right? When it comes to uh, the phones, um, Android operating systems are um, pre-installed in your phones and um, Android was created by Google, right? So it is one of the popular operating systems that are installed in, let's say, tablets, uh, installed in uh, most of the phones, right? So, and um, when it comes to um, uh, another device, which is also known as Amazon Kindle device, right? So it is, again, an Android implementation um, operating system, right? So in Kindle device, in Amazon Kindle device, the... Um, um, Android um, actually uh, is used as Linux device, right? So that means uh, the operating system that is used in Kindle device is based on Linux, right? So it is an Android implementation. And uh, another one would be the Chromebook, right? So Linux operating system running as open source program on Chromebooks. So Yes, a lot of popular devices nowadays use Linux. So Linux is everywhere and the reason it permeates every part of our lives and is because of the open source concept that is at the root of what Linux is. So this is it in this video. I hope that it has been informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.